I think I will not be contradicting people if I tell them the truth that Tanzania now is in blackout. I have to say this because we are making ourselves as potential slaves without knowing. Thanks to Her Excellency, the President, together with her team leaders, she is doing very well to bring the investors in our country, giving them opportunities, welcoming them. This is to make our country develop and even to shine. Well, but there is something which we have not to forget. We are making our country develop, but not in videos. And this is because Tanzania has got unskilled labors. Our belief to welcome investors is to make ourselves skilled in the future. That through their industries or companies, Tanzania will be rich of increasing the number of skilled laborers. But I have to tell you the truth that there is no investor who would put his company or his industry at risk to hire unskilled laborers. That way is to say investors from outside would also bring skilled laborers from outside and put them in high post. Now the unskilled laborers from Tanzania will be put in small, small posts, like cleaning the environment, the surroundings of the companies or industries, dealing with the packaging, so that the post we will be given. Is that way making ourselves skilled. And there is something we have not to forget. In the past, our ancestors made themselves slaves. And if not that way, but they became slaves when there was Rambo for partition of Africa. Outsiders came to Africa for tour, for religions, and some came as teachers. Some came to help people well. But after they had seen the richness, the wealth, the resources which, are, which were in Africa, they started scrambling for Africa. And our forefathers found themselves in slavery. Are we not thinking that way we are going to make Tanzanians slaves? Because we are welcoming the investors from outside when we are unskilled. And we are showing them that we are unskilled. Because we don't believe in our experts who are in, in Tanzania. We don't put belief in them. For example, there are these universities, they train engineers, but unfortunately, in those campuses, if at all they have to build or to increase the number of buildings, they hire experts from outside. This is the way our government does. She does not believe in her people 
her experts. So showing this attitude to the outsiders and showing our resources, knowing that they are increasing in number in our country, it will cause or I say it will lead the Tanzanians to found themselves in slavery.